Hey there, so I have here a climbing V-shaped trellis, which I'm gonna be using in my garden beds to plant cucumbers on. And so this is just one way that you could do it. You could turn it this way. It is hinged in the center, so you could, if you wanted to put a fence post in here, have it go up higher. But otherwise, for simplicity, I have two of them here in my eight by four foot um, garden bed. So you can kind of see that idea. And then I'll show you another idea I have. So my other idea is to actually create an arch out of the three that I purchased. As I'm going to have cucumbers on this side and then I've got another climbing um, vegetable that I want to put on that side. So what I did was I reinforced it with T-posts. So I've got a big post in the center with two smaller posts on the side and I zip tied them together. And then I brought them up and I zip tied them at the top. And I'll be shocked if my cucumbers actually get this high um, for my area. And then again, I have a T post for this one single panel. And then there's that arch and then it comes up. And so, I mean, this is probably seven or eight feet, you know, whatever the length of these uh, trellises are. But this was a lot easier for me to install in my garden beds instead of going to the farm store and actually purchasing like one of those big cattle panels. And this gives me a little bit more flexibility in case I decide to change it for next year. So hopefully that helps if you're looking to make your own trellises in your garden. It also comes with a pack of these twisty ties. Um, and so these are just small twisty ties. Um, but I was able to use them on the trellises and you can also use them to help attach your climbers to your trellis fence.